Welcome to the Jack Daniels at home whiskey tasting. My name is Pete Wagner. I am your whiskey ambassador. Today we're going to go over how Jack Daniels is made, the differences between the different styles, and then we're going to talk about one of our, my personal favorites, our flavored whiskeys. Now you can't talk about Jack Daniels without talking about the man himself. That's right, he was a real man. Actually, his name wasn't even Jack. His name was Jasper Newton Daniels. Jasper Newton Daniels was born in 1850. His mother died in 1849. Interesting, right? So yes, according to the legend, his mother died one year before he was born. Truth be told, Jasper's mother died shortly after he was born due to complications from the birth. He was actually the 10th out of 13 children. His father remarried and had three more kids. 10th out of 13 children, that's a lot of mouths to feed. Believe it or not, at the age of nine years old, old Jack moves out of the house, moves in with a Lutheran minister down the road named Dan Call. During the daytime, old Dan would preach to his congregation. And then at night, he would go down to the creek and he would uh, make whiskey. He would have old Jack with him the whole time. Now here's the problem. Uh, Dan Call's wife was actually part of the temperance movement. Temperance movements what led to prohibition. So you could see Dan's wife wasn't really a big fan of what he was doing during the evenings. Like any smart man staring at an angry wife, what did he do? He sided with his wife and actually sold that still to Jasper at the age of 13. 13 years old, Jack starts making whiskey. Even crazier than that. By uh, just a few years later, Jack realizes government's leaning on all the local distillers, and what's he do? He registers his still with the U.S. government, making Jack Daniels the very first registered distillery in the United States by a 16-year-old boy. Now, if you're looking at your case here, you're going to say, what is the difference between all of these? Believe it or not, Gentleman Jack, Jack Daniels, or Jack Daniels Single Barrel is all essentially the same thing. It's 80% corn, 12% barley, and the rest is rye. The difference between these three is actually where it falls in the barrel house. A barrel house is a lot like your house if you forgot to pay the power bill. In the summer, you go down in the basement, things are a lot cooler. It's insulated. You've got the earth around it. In the summer, you go up in the attic, it's going to be hot. There's the radiant heat. There's also the sun shining down. Inversely, in the winter, you go in the basement, it's going to be a little bit warmer. It's insulated. You have the house on top. In the winter, you go up in the attic, freezing cold. Snow's on it, wind's blowing. Point being, there's less of a temperature fluctuation on the bottom, more of a fluctuation on the top. Whiskey that is aged in barrels on the bottom floor of the barrel house will only soak about a third of the way into that barrel, creating a lighter, softer profile. Where the whiskey's on the top floor create a bolder, more full-bodied flavor. And that's what Jack Daniels does. Even though it's the same juice coming off of that still, it goes into barrels, and depending on where it is in that barrel house, will determine which whiskey it is. Gentleman Jack is a marriage of barrels from the bottom floor. Jack, a marriage of barrels from every floor. And then your single barrel, that's one barrel, top floor of the barrel house. So let's start our tasting. The first one that we're going to talk about is Gentleman Jack. Gentleman Jack is a marriage of barrels from the bottom floor in the barrel house. What's that mean? It means it only soaks about a third of the way into that barrel. When we talk about those grains, I said 80% corn, 12% barley, the rest is rye. Corn gives it the sweetness, the rye has a spice, uh, and then the barley's there, uh, has a nuttier profile. In addition to these flavors, the Jack Daniels yeast strain notoriously gives off fruit floral notes. When you sip these, think banana as you sip them and that's coming from the yeast strain so gentlemen jack marriage of barrels from the bottom floor soaks a third of the way in you know that it's going to be lighter it's going to have less of those heavy oak notes to it it's also going to be a bit sweeter all of our barrels are first toasted using ultraviolet heat that's a baking process that caramelizes all of the sugars that are in there and then we char them the charring that's the fire the fire opens up the pores when the weather gets warm the pores open up and the whiskey soaks in. When the weather gets cool, they tighten up and shoot it back. American whiskeys will get 100% of the color, 60 to 70% of the flavor from the barrel itself. Brown Foreman, the company that owns Jack Daniels, is the only major whiskey company, the only major liquor company. 
that makes their own barrels. 100% of the color, 60 to 70% of the flavor, and we're the only ones. So Gentleman Jack soaks a third of the way in, mostly mingling with those caramelized portions, creating a lighter, sweeter profile. Now, all Jack Daniels is a Tennessee whiskey. Follows all the same rules of being a bourbon. It just takes one extra step, and that's charcoal mellowing. We actually drip every drop of Jack Daniels through 10 feet of charcoal. It's charred sugar maple. As it drips through that charcoal, charcoal is a porous material. There are sharp notes that can be found in oils, in the husks of the grain. And those oils will find their way into the pores in that uh, charcoal and eventually encapsulate it and that will get left behind creating a lighter smoother profile again it's technically a bourbon it just takes out one extra step made in the united states stored new charred oak barrels it's at least 51 percent corn they only add spring water to it but then they do the charcoal mellowing so gentlemen jack marriage barrels from the bottom floor in the barrel house and then they take that one extra step, not once, but twice. Gentleman Jack is the only whiskey that does charcoal mellowing twice. Once before it goes into the barrel, like all Jack Daniels, and then once after it comes out, they will force it through four extra feet, getting rid of some of those sharper notes from the barrel. That is your Gentleman Jack. Now, as we build on our palettes, we're going to go next to Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels, old number seven. Why do they call it number seven? Nobody knows. You see, there was a fire in the courthouse down in Lynchburg that burned up all records of Jack Daniels. So everything is passed on by word of mouth, generation to generation. There's one story that involves the seven train bringing barrels of whiskey in. There's another one that is, uh, says Jack Daniels actually had seven girlfriends back in the day. Uh, there is one that it's the seventh uh, registered recipe for Jack Daniels. Either way, we know that it's good juice. Again, it's a marriage of barrels from every floor in the barrel house. The lighter ones on the bottom, more full-bodied ones on top, and then everything in between. They want Jack Daniels to taste the same that it did back in 1890 as it does in 1990 as it will in 2090. Jack Daniels number seven. There's a reason it's the largest selling whiskey in the world. Our next whiskey is Jack Daniel's Single Barrel. What is Single Barrel? It's exactly that. It represents the flavor profile of just one barrel. See, no two barrels taste the same. Every barrel has roughly 30 staves in it. That's 30 of these pieces of wood. They can register anywhere from that thin to about that thick. The Coopers are the ones that make a barrel, and you don't make a barrel, you raise a barrel, like a baby in a cooperage. The Coopers, as they raise the barrels, get paid by volume. So as they grab these staves, they put them in two, three, four. There could be 28, there can be 34. There's a wide variety. Now I'll tell you that represents different tree farms around different parts of the United States. If you have trees growing in warmer climates, those trees are going to grow faster and therefore they're going to be more porous. If you have trees growing in cooler climates, they're going to grow slower which means that they are less porous. But now we are only using white oak here. So this is something that we've learned over the years. We like to combine those to create that profile that you know as Jack Daniels. So when you take the juice from one run and you put it in two barrels side by side, there's an infinite number of combinations in each one. You could take the same juice from the same run, put it in two barrels side by side, age it the same amount of time, and they are not going to taste the same. They will have that delicious full-body Jack Daniels flavor that you're used to, and it's going to be a deeper profile being from the top floor, but typically it'll lean sweeter towards the corn, spicier towards the rye, or woody and tannic. With each of these bottles on the neck, you will see it has the Rick number and the barrel number. If you find one that you like, you're going to ask your bartender, can I see that bottle? You're going to look at that bottle, look at the Rick number, look at the barrel number, and then ask them where they get their liquor from. If you go to that liquor store and those numbers match, you've got the same product. If they're not the same numbers, it's going to be delicious, but slightly different. That is your Jack Daniels single barrel. 
Now, before we move on to our next whiskeys, it's important to tell you, whiskey has over 200 flavors to it. There are over 200 different flavors that build up to create the flavor of your whiskey. That can come from the grains, the percentage of the grains, the water source, your yeast strain, the barrels, etc. With a combination like that, it's fun to bring out some of those flavors. And that's where Jack Daniels came out with its flavored series. In 2011, we released our first flavor, and that was Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey. Tennessee Honey. It's half Jack Daniels, number seven, combined with a proprietary uh, honey liqueur. All liqueur means is that it, there's at least 30% sugars in there. So they've taken local honey and they've turned it into a liqueur and married it with Jack Daniels. All of those great flavors of Jack Daniels found right after a true honey profile. That is your Jack Daniels Tennessee honey. Now, 2015, we got a fire in our belly and we, re we released what we call Jack Daniels Tennessee Fire. With this one, bring, playing off of those 200 naturally occurring flavors, we've brought out the cinnamon profiles. Again, when we make our whiskey, first we toast the barrel. And, and when we toast, that brings out a lot of the baking spice, your cinnamon, your caramels, your vanillas, baking spices. That's everything you're going to find in this whiskey. Jack Daniels Tennessee Fire is a combination of a proprietary cinnamon liqueur and Jack Daniels. You'll get the spice up front, you'll get the sweetness afterwards, and then you'll get that famous, well-known Jack Daniels flavor. Believe it or not, there's actually whiskey in our flavored whiskey. That has been your Jack Daniels at home tasting. Again, my name is Pete Wagner. I'm your ambassador. All be well. Cheers.